Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Jamie from Double the Bumps. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. And if you're a follower already, thank you very much for tuning in with us. And don't forget to check the description box for links of anything in this video that you would like to purchase. I have links in the description. Let's get into the video for today. So I am going to do a recap on Sela's um, one month and we are going to talk about her first month and everything that she went through in the first month of life and what we have been up to. So the first thing that I noticed when we got home was that um, so the first two weeks and even while she was in the hospital, she had a lot of amniotic fluid in her stomach. And so um, she was coughing up a lot of amniotic fluid and like coughing and choking on it a lot. And that was pretty, um, I don't know how to describe it, but it was kind of like scary because she would choke and not catch her breath. And it was just sad to watch her go through that. But after about two weeks, she was okay and that kind of subsided and then um the next thing that i noticed was that she was having a lot of hiccups and it didn't really click to me that hiccups are kind of like a sign of like tummy troubles and so um right away we decided as soon as she was old enough and one month old, she, we were going to start giving her gripe water before bed so that she could sleep. And I also started giving her probiotics, the Gerber Soothe drops, which I didn't actually get until she was probably six weeks or five weeks. Um, I had saw it on another channel and everybody just says that they um, had really good success with it after three or four days that the baby was just a totally different baby and that it just helps with curing the issues that they're having that's causing the hiccups and all that stuff. So hiccups and gas and fussiness are a sign of like that colic is probably going to be starting. So if you can do the probiotics and do the Gerber Soothe um, probiotics and then the gripe water drops that can help with the symptoms help them sleep help you sleep because they're not sleeping she had a lot of reflux and um every time I don't, i'm not really sure if it was reflux i didn't take her to the doctor for it but every time we would lay her down it would come back up so i pretty much had to sit up with her a lot of nights basically for probably about two or two or three weeks I had to sit up with her before she could lay down so I would have to sit her up for about 45 minutes before I could lay her down and um hi baby girl the reason why we are matching today is because we had a photo shoot by the way um and we have our matching outfits huh little girl huh yeah I can wake up are you gonna wake up? You want your bing pink? Here we go. Here we go. She likes to stick her tongue out a lot and go, mm, mm, it's kind of cute. Are you gonna yawn? Here we go, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, she was gonna sneeze. Oh, boy. Sneezy, mama. Yeah, I was just gonna sneeze, Mama. Huh. I just gonna sneeze? That's all? Yeah, okay. So, um, the only other thing that she really has, like, had an issue with is, um, her skin breaking out and getting rashes. I believe it was just from my hormones that she was reacting from. Um, so, and the only reason I know that is because I gave her a bottle of breast milk at church that, and, um, she broke out the next day. And if you see one of my recent vlogs, that is from the following day. It was a Monday. So we went to church on Sunday and it was a Monday, but 
As you could just see, she is a total binky baby. My son was not a binky baby. Um, so she is a completely, totally, like total binky baby. So her rash, all I did for that was um, every day I would wipe her face and neck with a warm washcloth and then I would put coconut oil on it because it was so dry and cracking and her skin was falling off. The first day she literally had like blisters that were oozing on her ears. It was so horrible. I felt so bad. And so pretty much the milk that I have... Um, in the beginning is junk like I'm not I just threw it out because I don't want to get obviously give that to her anymore but um so she um her face is pretty much all cleared up now and um she just has a few little dry patches where the acne was drying up but from what my friend was saying is that it's hormones so um, that's what was causing it. Um, so I just clipped her nails today, but her little feet and hands get really cold. And I have her socks right here, but I just wanted to take them off so you guys could see her cute little footsies. Um, anyways, um, her feet and hands get really cold in the house with the air conditioning on and it's really hot today. So, um, I think that's about it in her first month it was probably like the fourth week she did start getting um, cradle cap and what I did was just put coconut oil on that and massaged it in with the little baby brush that they give you from the hospital um, to kind of roughen up the skin and like loosen it up and then I just let that sit overnight I put a hat on her um, to let that sit and then the next day we washed it and I used the Honest Company lavender body wash and lotion and stuff so that's what we used on her and she is all cleared up from that and um, she did peel pretty bad after she was born like her hands and feet and everything she peeled a lot like I just don't remember my son ever doing that but um, so I would usually every day kind of wipe her down with a washcloth and then put coconut oil on her entire body. And I used the organic coconut oil. Um, it is, I get it at Walmart, but it's like the neutral flavored one so that it doesn't smell like coconut or anything. Um, if you're wondering, these bows are from my husband's cousin who does not have her shop anymore, but it's called the Rusty Nail. I'm sure you can find the same type of bow on Instagram. I see them everywhere, they're pretty popular. And these bibs are from Copper Pearl, and these pants are from Target. They're the Cloud Island brand, as well as the little mittens are the Cloud Island brand. And then she just has a white little short sleeve onesie on that's, I believe, from Gerber. Um, so that is about it. And her binky clip I got on Amazon from, uh, Itty Bitty. And then she just has the Gerber or the Soothe pacifiers that I tied them on there too. So at her one month or her two week appointment, she weighed seven pounds, three ounces. So, um... She, at her two-day appointment, she was already back to her birth weight. So um, she was six pounds, two ounces, two days after she was born. And she was born at six pounds, three ounces. And she went down to five pounds, I think it was five pounds, 12 ounces is what she went down to in the hospital. And we were there for 24 hours. So within three days, she went back up to her body weight. Um, and that was because my milk was already in because I was breastfeeding my son still occasionally. So he kind of kept my breast milk coming in and then my body just kind of like re-energized itself or whatever you want to call it. But I started producing a lot of colostrum and so she was getting like tons and tons of that. Um, what else, baby girl? She has a lot of hair, like it's really, really super thick. I don't know if you can see it, 
but um, it's so, so, so adorable. And I just love these little bows because it just looks like she has little bangs. And it's so cute. I'll have to show you guys. Let me see if I can lift her up without waking her up. She's pretty sleepy, as you can tell, but look at her hair. You can see, like, she has, like, little bangs. It's so cute. She is pretty peaceful. She loves her Dockatot and her sound machine we have in here. I do put her in her crib when she naps during the day because my son wakes her up. If I don't, sometimes she will sleep in her um, swing, but you guys look at this hair. Okay. Isn't that just so cute? And on the back, oh my goodness, it is so long and so adorable. Um, and her little toesies, but look at how sweet. Can you guys just, oh, you just want to kiss him and kiss him and kiss him. But her skin is clearing up really, really good. And she has some little dry spots, but I just put coconut oil on her face. Um, and she is just so cute. I think that's pretty much it for her one month update. The only other thing I could talk about is um, just things that she's loving. She absolutely loves her swing. She loves her bouncy chair that vibrates that my son used, but she does not like doing floor time and or tummy time and her neck is not as strong as I want it to be because I just have not been doing tummy time enough because I can't stand to listen to her cry. Um, but I have been doing it every single day now um, for the last four weeks. So for the first like three weeks I didn't really do too much. I know it's only like one or two minutes that they need to be there but I just felt so bad because she had the reflux and she was throwing up and she had the hiccups like literally constantly. And so to have her like face down and I had her on a like um, one of the mats that have like the little pillow for doing tummy time, but she would like constantly have the hiccups or be falling asleep. And I just, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. She was suffering too much from other things. So I just, let it fly but now that she's better we are doing tummy time every single morning for three four minutes um usually not that long usually about one or two minutes so i think that's pretty much it for her update you guys um she is a really good baby now that she got her tummy stuff under control and we are gonna go take a little nap i'm gonna have some coffee and i'm gonna edit this video and get it up for you guys be sure to follow me on my social media if you want to see little pictures of her on my Instagram. I don't have a Facebook for, or I do, yeah, I do have a Facebook for uh, my channel, but I really don't use it that much because it's really a lot for me right now to keep up on like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. So that's like four social media sites that I need to, you know, update. I think that's pretty much it and I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. I am so excited to share more about this little princess and I just can't, I am just like, I am in disbelief that I even have a daughter still. So, um, we're going to say bye. Can you say bye, Sayla? Bye. Say bye, everybody. I'm so sleepy. Bye, Sayla. We'll see you guys later. Bye.